So we're going to tie a black mini lure. It's an early season pattern. Great for pulling. And it's called the Gabbler. Named by a friend. And we'll start with some 10 old black Vivas thread. We'll catch that in there. Take black marabou. Strip about an inch off. Take off the rubbish. And this will be her tail. If you just pull on the bottom end of the feathers, the stalks of the feathers, take away the heavy stuff, it makes it a wee bit neater to tie in. Offer it up to the hook, catch it in. And just pinch like so until you get your desired tail length. That's fine for me. Trim away the waist. And that's you. Next step is to tie in some flash. And for the flash, I'm going to use holographic silver, and it's from Flybox. What I'll do is I'll take a length, double it up, and I'll tie in two pieces each side of the tail. I'm just going to make it the same length as the tail itself. Some of these tinsels want to sit a certain way. If you just do them curved in the way, with the curve facing the shank of the hook, it'll make the flash sit a wee bit easier, a wee bit better, sorry. Um, trim that off. And you'll be able to see a flash there now. Just bind all that down. It doesn't have to be nice and neat here because we're just covering it with fritz anyway. <coughs> Next step is the body, that's going to be Flybox Citrus Medium Crystal Hackle. Nice and bright, perfect colour combo for early season peeling. All we'll do with this is we'll take a length. It's just like a straggle but it's a bit nicer to work with. Catch it in on the side of the hook. And what you want to do is just make close wraps, pulling all the fibres back as you go. And it'll just sit nicely.
what will do it is we'll just catch it off there that's fine now for the wing again black marabou about the same an inch of the stem pull at the ends offer it up to the hook pinch and loop pinch and loop again catch it in and just check it's sitting right before you tighten down perfect what you can do is you can go in trim away the waist turn on that and what you want to do is snip the wing the same length as the tail so in line with the tail again we're going to go in and put some flash in the wing same as the last time the natural curve of the tinsel itself facing in and we'll just go the same length as the wing on each side. It's not sitting right. I'm going to this side. Right. Trim away. Lock that in. Right, now for some jungle cock cheeks. I think that fibre's turned there. We'll just turn that over. Sort that. If something's not sitting right, just go back on it. It can easily be fixed. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. Right, next. <coughs> I'm going to stick some jungle cock cheeks on. Um, I like to use splits. Some folk like to use full eyes. It's entirely up to the tyre themselves. Select a decent feather. And what? Trim. Yeah, pull away all the Flew of the feather, only leaving the eye. Split the eye. Like so. You can tie this in a one hour and you can tie it in in two halves.
catch it on, lock it in. Now, finish on the head. You can use different sizes of this stuff of various types. Um, you get humongous chenille, the cactus chenille for vineyard and 6mm, and like say, gel core sparkle body from Flybox, which is kind of smaller, We've got quite a thick core, but pretty good for bodies and stuff like that. I'm going to use the vineyard stuff today though. This was what was tied in the original. So I'll take the fits, we'll strip away one end, leaving the core, and we're going to catch the core in. So there's a lot of mini lures like this, like hulks, and you've got the hulk and the, the mercus they're made and stuff like that. The ordinary guys, they use them. Um, so rather than put a muddler head on this, a nice silver head, you could do it with gold. Or whichever, whichever you prefer, to be honest. I'm going to use silver because that's what's been effective for me in the past. If I can get it to catch in properly, that is. Just check that. Perfect. Right. So what you want to do, and just like blob fritz and the fritz in the body, you want to pull it all one way, stroking it back. You want to make roughly two turns. Two full turns. Bring the thread under. Catch it in. Have a wee look. I mean, that looks pretty good. Trim away. What I do at this point is I kind of come back half a turn. I pull everything back. Any wee fibres at the front, get them back, get them pulled back, and you've got a couple of wraps of thread. Nice and tight. Form a wee head like so. The next step is whip finish. What I would normally do here is I'd normally put a small amount of super glue on the thread or varnish and I would make the whip finish but today for video purposes I'm just going to finish it normally without any nice and tight go in trim it with your thread that's it and that's the gabbler, named by Alan Stevens. Great wee fly, early season, ticks all the boxes. <laughs>